All right, so given a string, reverse each word in the sentence. Um, right off the top, I can think of a way to do that by uh, using arrays, turning the sentence into an array of words, turning their words into arrays of characters, reversing those characters, returning the string after rejoining every all the all the arrays. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so let's come up with a sentence here. We'll say const sentence equals this is a sentence. All right. So I'm going to show you um, a longer way to do this and then a shorter way to do this, which I would usually recommend the shorter way. So, but let's go ahead and, and, and dissect this first. So let's first make this uh, an array of words. So let's say const words is equal to sentence split and we'll split it by space. So this will give us an array of words we can see here. We'll log it out. All right, so here we have an array of words. So what we could do um, is we could say come up with a new sentence. So let's say var not const because we're going to be modifying this. So var new sentence is equal to an empty string at the moment. And we will loop through each word in the array. So we'll say words that for each word and we will say new sentence plus equal to word. Now what we're going to do is we're going to split this word into an array of characters. So we'll say split each character, then take this array, reverse it, and then rejoin it. Okay. Now you can see here if we were to log this out, our new sentence. We have all of the characters in the sentence reversed, but you know it's kind of there's no spaces. Um, let's come up with a way. Let's see. Let's add a space to the end here. Do it again. Okay, now we have our spaces. It looks a little more readable, even though everything is backwards. <laughs> um, but we have a problem here: is that we've added a space after each word, which means we also have a space at the end here. So what we want to do when we return this new sentence is we want to remove that last space. So we can do that by going slice, zero is the first argument and minus one is the second. Okay, now what we've done here is we've removed that space at the end. Okay, so here we've re reversed the entire sentence um, or each word, I'm sorry, each word in the sentence is still in order, right? This is a, this is a sentence, it's still in that order. So technically we've answered the, the question here. But let's go, go ahead and come up with a better way of doing this um, by creating a new function. So we'll create a new function called verse by, and that will take two arguments, a string and a separator. What we're going to use to actually split the string so we are going to return the string, which is split into an array by the given separator, reversed, and then rejoined by that separator. So now if we were to take that sentence and we were to use it in the function, we would send it, we'll Go ahead and put the sentence in here and we'll separate it by um, just each individual character like we did before. You can see we have similar to what we had before except the entire thing is reversed, right? Um, the way that we can answer our interview question, remember we want to reverse each word in the sentence, um, not the whole sentence itself. What we can do is we can um, do this by creating a new sentence that is reversed. So we will call our function reverse by, we'll put in the sentence, and we'll separate each individual word. 
or I'm sorry, first four separate each individual character. So basically what we just did here, we're gonna put that into a variable called new sentence. And then we're going to take that new sentence and we are going to reverse each word, right? So basically we have what we, what we have here, but the words are out of order. So we want the words to be in their original order. So we'll take um, and we'll come up with, we'll say constant answer, answer to our interview question is reversed by, and we'll input our new sentence and we'll separate by words, right? So now let's go ahead and see what we have here in our, as our answer. Great, so we have, this is a sentence, but reversed. And you can see we also don't have a space at the end um, because we didn't have to add a space to our string. So that's, uh, that's the better way to answer this um, question, I think. Uh, it's more uh, concise uh, and it's a function that can be reused. So yeah, that's it. That's my answer to the question of, of given a string, reverse the order of each word of the sentence.